You can argue that roads and bridges are maybe one of the most fundamental things that we do, uh, both as local governments and as state government. This is going to help our county as well as all the other rural counties that are in need. The cost of inaction, I, I really believe, is higher than being proactive and uh, addressing our needs today because there's a cost to doing nothing. The reality is, is it's really hard for a new governor to do. So I think if we don't do something this year, you're probably six years away from doing that. Most of you know this, but just as a way of reminder, the way we pay for roads and bridges in Tennessee is every time you fill up your car with a gallon of gasoline, you pay 21.4 cents per gallon. Of that money, 60% of it goes to the state to maintain interstates and state roads. 40% goes to local governments, and that's how they pave your road and the county roads and the city roads, the roads that aren't the responsibility of the state. Here's the problem we have. That 21 cents, the comptroller of the state, the comptroller of the state, by the way, is not appointed by the governor, he's elected by the legislature. The comptroller said that 21 cents was last increased back in the late 80s, almost 30 years ago, is now the equivalent of 11 cents per gallon. So what happened? How do we get from 21 cents to 11 cents? Inflation. Well, you say, well, but, but inflation happened with everything else. How come you're not talking about raising other taxes? When you bought a candy bar in 1988 for 70 cents, that candy bar, let's just say today, is a dollar, okay? When it went up from seven, when it's 70 cents, you were paying the state 7%, 4.9 cents per candy bar. Today, at a dollar, you're paying us 7 cents, uh, again, 7% of the dollar. So you're paying us 2.1 cents more for that candy bar than you did back in the late 80s. Gasoline is taxed on a cents per gallon. Doesn't matter how if it costs a dollar or five dollars, you pay that same 21 cents a gallon. And so as inflation has happened, unfortunately, the amount we get for roads haven't moved with that. The second issue is your vehicles, most of your vehicles, get better mileage than, now than you did in the late 80s. That's a good thing. It's good for your pocketbook, it's good for the environment, but it means Commissioner Schroer has really half as much money as the commissioner did in 1989 to build roads that cost about twice as much. And that's the fundamental issue. So the question is, well, what are we going to do about it? We came up with a proposal that we think addresses a couple of issues. Cutting some taxes for groceries, it's the one tax that everybody pays in the state. Uh, at the same time, raising more revenue to pay for the roads. For the average Tennessee driver, uh, that would mean right about in the neighborhood of about $4 a month, $48 a year, a little bit less than a dollar a week. For that, we're cutting taxes on, the, on, like I said, on businesses, cutting grocery taxes. But with that, you're also getting billions of dollars of road backlog addressed. Those numbers are realistic, they're doable, and I think it's good that the governor is uh, heading in this direction with it. Sumner County and, and the surrounding counties of Nashville are the fastest growing counties in the state right now. And if we can't uh, come up as elected officials with solutions to, to solving our uh, challenges in Middle Tennessee, it's going to be very difficult in the future for us to continue to grow economically and provide the kind of service and quality of life for our citizens that they deserve. What we're trying to do is to run the state the way you do with your own budget. Low taxes, keep debt low, invest in those things that matter, and make certain that this is the kind of place that people want to live and work and raise a family.